What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. So this is the Ocutel K9. It's a new budget smartphone priced around 200 US dollars and it offers the largest screen I have ever seen in a smartphone this year. So first of all, inside the box, you will find user manual, SIM eject tool, a USB-C to USB-A cable, USB Type-C charger cable, USB Type-C to audio jack adapter, a European USB power adapter, and I'll tell you the voltage, it's 5 volts 6A. You're also getting a silicon case, and quickly show you what the case looks like. Fits quite nicely, gives you some protection to get you started, and of course, a bit more grip. Now this smartphone is actually made from a plastic body, and it's a very simple design, finished in black, and on the front you can see that the bezels are quite noticeable and you do have a small chin at the bottom. Furthermore, it's only 8.9 millimeters thick and weighs 232 grams. So surprisingly thin for a large battery smartphone. So we have an incredible 7.12 inch IPS LCD display with 350 pixels per inch along with a full HD plus resolution of 1080 by 2244 now this smartphone is powered by the MediaTek Helio P35 octa-core CPU with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Furthermore, we have dual band Wi-Fi AC, it's factory unlocked with 4G LTE and Bluetooth version 4.4 and this is running Android version 9 Pi. Now the OS is quite smooth in operation and you have a large icon layout and it's always nice to see hardly any bloatware included. Now let's talk about the cameras. We have dual cameras on the back, 16 megapixel primary and a secondary two megapixel shooter. Furthermore, on the front, we have an eight megapixel selfie camera on the teardrop. So without further ado, let's just take this camera out for a quick spin. So this is 1080p video with the Ocatel K9. On the screen it looks like we've got no image stabilization at all. So we are shooting 1080p video with the Ocatel K9's front facing camera and this is what the quality looks like. And to give you an idea of the sheer scale of this mammoth, I'm going to bring in the Mate 20 Pro. Now I used to think the Mate 20 Pro was big. Well, feast your eyes on the K9, it makes the Mate 20 Pro look like a small handset. An absolutely amazing amount of screen estate you're getting here for the price. Now, the screen is good quality. It's bright with good colors and contrasts, which is no doubt ideal for watching movies and playing games. And on YouTube, you can stream a maximum resolution of 1080p at 60 frames per second. And the streaming quality looks pretty good with a very loud sound to go with it. This also supports Netflix at 480p resolution and again, the quality looks pretty decent on that massive screen. Now, the fingerprint sensor is located on the back. It's okay to reach if you've got large-ish hands. It does an average job of unlocking the smartphone. It's accurate, but definitely not the quickest one I've used. Now, from touching the sensor, it takes a second and a half to actually unlock the screen. Furthermore, we also have face unlock and again, it takes a second for it to unlock. So average speeds for both the fingerprint sensor and the face unlock, but at least they are both working accurately with no issues. Now at the bottom of the smartphone, we have a microphone, a USB Type-C port, and a single speaker. Moving over to the side of the phone, we have a volume rocker and a small power button. Nothing on the top of the phone. And on the side, we have our dual nano SIM card tray, which can take two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card up to 256 gigs. 
Now let's move on to some gaming, beginning with Asphalt 9. So low graphics settings have been detected on PUBG Mobile. Furthermore, you have a massive 6,000 milliamp hour battery and this phone does support fast charging and you can get from zero to 100% in around one hour and 30 minutes. Now the battery is capable of lasting up to three days from normal usage. So DRM info shows Google Widevine level three. And here is the CPU-Z information where you can check the clock speeds. You can see the GPU information. And here is your firmware and root information. So we just run an indoor GPS test and it took nearly a minute and a half in order to obtain a proper fix. Now in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 67 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. Now the top speeds we are currently achieving in this office is between 67 to 70 megabits per second, megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 3837. And in the anti two benchmark test, we achieved 84K. So let's see how this compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart for 2019, showing you the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the new Ocotel K9 has taken position 39 on this chart with an anti two score of 84K. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Ocotel K9 smartphone. This phone offers a decent performance. Now you do have a large bright display, large battery life and quite a loud speaker to go with it, which is pretty good for movies and games. You can play PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile on low settings. Although Asphalt 9 struggled and was quite laggy, all the other games did play fine on low settings. Battery life itself will last you three days on normal usage or two days heavy usage. Now camera took decent photos, but video quality was poor. There is no NFC and maximum resolution on Netflix is 480p. Bottom line, a massive screen, massive battery life and decent performance all packaged into a slim unit, all for only 229 US dollars or 189 pounds in the UK makes this smartphone pretty good value for money with a few drawbacks to consider. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.